Hello everyone and welcome back to Floki's Models. Going to be doing some rendering today on AFV Club's 135th scale SD KFZ 233. This being a North Africa build, we're going to focus on multiple dust layers instead of a build up of mud and dust. To begin, I'm going to be using this accumulated dust product from AK. I'm just going to start by slathering this into the wheel wells. Once the wheels are installed, most of this effort won't be seen but it's always a good idea to get everything, if for nothing else but practice. Don't worry how bad this looks, it dries to a very pale color, and also we're going to go back in and blend this and clean it up a lot too. Now using a cheap disposable brush and tap water, I will start blending all this. You can already see the great color this product dries to. Also this brush isn't soaking red with water, but just barely moist. Of course, just one layer isn't enough. I ended up with about three layers in the wheel wells. This is how it's looking so far. Now I'm going to hit the rest of the bottom with a few layers of this. And just like the wheel wells, this gets blended with tap water. You can start to see how it leaves that accumulated dust look behind. Moving on to the upper surfaces, I'm adding dots of Aptalung 502 dust oil paint. This is unthinned, but the brush is slightly moist with odorless thinner. I let my oil paints leach out on a piece of cardboard for a few hours before I start to use them. I do this since leaching out that extra linseed oil seems to make the paints dry faster for one, and two, I find them to be more manageable that way as well. After the dots are in place, I then pull the dots downward with a flat brush moist with odorless thinner. This creates the streaking dust effect that I'm looking for. A buildup of multiple layers is what will create the final look. And here's one panel compared to the rest. Of course the entire vehicle except for the underside gets the same treatment.
Next step I'm doing is a pin wash with Big Dark Wash. I like to use Abdelong 502 Bitume Oil for this. For the pin wash, I'm going to hit all the recessed areas and around any raised detail. Don't worry about being a little messy with this, you can always go back later and clean it up. Any mistakes or areas you don't want can be easily cleaned up with a brush moist with odorless thinner. Now I'm going to be using the same AK accumulated dust I used on the underside. But instead of just slathering it on, I'm going to add dots of this, then blend it into more streaks like I did with the dust oil paint. Like before, this is the same disposable brush, just moist with a little tap water. Now for pigments. For this I'm using MIG Golf Sand. I would have liked to use the same products on the tires that I used on the body, but this rubber wheels is hard to get anything to stick to. The wheels and rims were sprayed with a clear flat to aid in adhesion of the pigments. But still, the pigments was the only thing I could really get to stick, as in the other products just kind of beat it up on them. To apply this, I just brush some on with an old brush, rub it in really good, and then later remove what I don't want. how they are looking so far. I decided to add some pigments to the wheel wells to tie the body together with the wheels. Final look at the wheel wells. Then the last thing I added, some of this MIG oil and grease stains to the hubs of a few of the wheels. This stuff is a bit thick, maybe because this bottle is around 10 years old. So first I added a bit of thinner to the hub, then added the oil and grease stain to the thinner. I did clean this up a bit more after from here. Now let's go to the final shots. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this build series.
In the next video, I'll be working on the diorama base for this build. Also, another big thank you to all my subscribers. We just hit that 1000 mark, and you guys are the reason why I continue to build and make videos. Since hitting that 1000 mark, I'm going to do my best to put out a video at least every other week uh, for two videos a month. And if interested, maybe a bench update every Wednesday in the form of a short. But again, thank you all, and stay tuned for many more builds to come.